it. There it is. I can say, I just missed the sign. Welcome to North Carolina. And we're getting on, I know it's out in the distance, but we're getting our first real views of real hills. But uh, yeah, you get the first view, you know, the route we've been taking from up through South Carolina. Just as you're getting about North Carolina line, you start seeing the hills out in the distance. Yeah, we'll soon be in the territory where you start seeing runaway truck ramps and, and you know the steep grades, the steep climbs. We are nearly there. seen hills like this in, I don't know, since uh, November. Okay, it's on our way to Texas for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that there are some hills up there. Won't be long too, we'll be seeing bigger bridges and tunnels. Uh, oh yeah, and the uh, slower the extra lane going up the big hills for slower truck traffic. Coachman's getting it done in the fast lane. We're doing a whopping 53 to 65, but that's faster than a lot of this traffic. sudden guess what day it is the day has finally come it always just creeps up you know it's coming you know it's coming and all of a sudden it just makes sense it's time to uh, part ways uh, oh boy Roger and Jeffrey could be heading west on interstate 40 we're like 10 miles south of 40 so that's where they turn off to start heading west. I'll stay on 26 in Asheville and uh, continue north, hit uh, Interstate 81. That's then it shoots over more to the northeast. Today's the day. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm making a fresh coffee and get the car hooked up. And it looks like me and Bella is heading back to Pennsylvania. All right, there they go across the street. I got the car hooked up. Uh, we said our goodbyes and stuff and, and chit chat a little bit to summarize our trip. And uh, we all had a good time. It was a it was a nice trip. It is time to time to get rolling. West Jimmy Rock Road. Well, we have about ten more miles. <laughs> We're still gonna travel together until we get to the split point. Uh, yeah, that's not real far from here. This is the way the majority, almost all of the trip has gone. Is I've led, I just followed me, and just been behind Aja. And uh, this will be our last stint. We'll, we're leaving the same destination, but we will not arrive at the same destination. And we shut it off for the day. We'll just be ourselves, me and Bella. Time has come, girl. Back to Pennsylvania we go. That's it. Interstate 26 west to Asheville. Uh, road closed. <laughs> uh, that's not going to work for us. Yeah, just a little bit of construction. Or a whole lot of construction. All right, our destination. Uh, for me and Bella, I said it right before we, just as before we get to Interstate uh, 81. Continue on I-26 West for 18 miles. So 
that is about 88 miles, an hour and 25 minutes away. So we will get there to take our first break, our first solo break. So the garage is 520 miles away, eight hours and seven minutes. I plan to be there tomorrow, midday. Well, so like I say, I can be there, you know, well, I could be there tonight if I drove like a maniac, but you know, midday tomorrow. But uh, I just thought I'd throw this out there. Y'all could be there midday tomorrow too, you know, just saying. Just had to say it. Ah, there's a sign to for the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'd like to travel that in the van sometime. That seems like a good summertime trip. All right, we're getting pretty close to Asheville. There's more lanes up 40 east and 40 west. We just split. They continued on straight. And uh, that's it. We're, we're on our own now, Bella. We are solo for the rest of our journey. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Everything goes well the rest of the way back to Pennsylvania. Coachman hangs in there. She's done really well this entire trip. She's got to do gonna do well just a little bit more and she gets a rest so get a rest this summer for the most part a rest and some uh, PLC we'll, we'll get back and get that van out well it's a little different <laughs> pulling the gas station uh, big old rock wall right there at gotcha. you little little change of landscape here getting into the mountains but we are going to put some miles in. You know, we're early down to 7 hours and 44 minutes. And we stopped and got gas. But we should be good for a while. What time is it? 2 2.30. 30 already. So, uh, yeah, we got time. We can get some miles behind us. I can see. We're, we're all good there. Come on. Let's make sure the uh, Fiesta's doing good. Yeah, your uh, ah, Fiesta's good. So... Time to roll. You know, when we got out and back in, Bella was looking around like she was eh, looking we're looking for our travel partners that seem to be missing all of a sudden. Huh? That's all right. We got people to we got people to see when we get up Pennsylvania. We see different people at different times of the year. Time to go see our Pennsylvania people. Feet. Turn right onto the US 19 North. Just when I got done saying the coachman has plenty of power, here we are doing 46 miles an hour up this hill. Yeah, you know, the camera doesn't always show elevation or, or grades, the steepness of grades very well. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, we're doing 47 now and a 65. That's about all she's got. Then she's, she's holding it. Okay, we're probably a mile further up the hill. We're still hill holding 47 mile an hour. Steady as she goes, coachman. Just keep doing what you're doing.
just got to the top and we it summited at Welcome to Tennessee. Oh, welcome to Tennessee. We are uh, at 3,760 feet. And, well, I thought we was only going to be up around 25, 2,500. I think that's what I seen on the route going uh, west, like Raja and Jeff went. Interstate 40, go to the west towards Knoxville. I think peaked at uh, around 2,500. Well, this field, we went up to 3,760 pretty quick. And that was steep for a long ways. Now we're just gonna coast down the other side. Dude, man, I'm glad I got gas. We've got a quarter tank and a climb like that. Just enough to make you nervous. Then how many gas stations are you know, way up here in the hills. We might not see gas stations until we're way back out in the valley somewhere. All right. Oh, there's our first runaway truck ramp. Just up ahead here. Or our runaway motorhomes. <laughs> runaway anything. You lose your brakes, just aim for that. All right. It's all of a sudden, it's a big steep upgrade made of uh, loose gravel. I don't, I don't stop much about anything. So it leveled out a little bit, um, but here we, here we go. We're getting back to another steep part again. That's, uh, here's that other truck ramp. Runaway truck ramp. Steep. We're picking up speed again. Yeah. Easy on the brakes. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. Keep it under control. That's all. Patient. That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. Just like a Walmart out here all by itself. How is that? I don't know, it just seems odd to me. Here we are, Interstate 81. Yeah, that shoots more to the northeast. Uh, even, they, even though they call it 26, 26 west, I don't know what point it actually shoots west. It shoots, it shoots more north yeah, in this area. So that brought us up to 81, which also says, uh, let's say north, north for 92 miles. but actually it kind of follows the Appalachians and goes to the northeast. And we're now six hours and 43 minutes away from the garage, 432 miles. If I could take a break here in a bit. And then what we'll do is, uh, I'm gonna take an extended lunch time. Probably knock a couple more hours off later today or this evening. Try to get that down more to the four hour mark and finish that up tomorrow. That'd be easy because I get up early. I'll probably be uh, up in the garage by, actually, I might be up in the garage around lunchtime. So, and today and tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful. So, uh, yeah, good traveling weather. Yeah, we're going to find somewhere to take a break up here a little in a short while. There it is, 3.46 already. I haven't even had lunch. So if I skip that, go straight to dinner, and, and I don't know. <laughs> oh, just, I'm not in a crazy hurry, uh, but I am. But I do want to get up there tomorrow before rain moves in. Uh, tomorrow night, I think. Oh, we just got, there it is, welcome to Virginia. Whoa, slow this thing down. Slow this thing down. Uh, next track rest, 13 miles. I think the next regular rest was uh, 61 miles. Yeah, I'm ready for a break before all that. Yeah. I wonder what. Let's see. Patrol by police. That's good. And I don't, didn't see any signs about how long they allow you to park. Turn right. 
some states it's surprisingly short, like for two hours max, or sometimes eight hours max. Um, I'm gonna pull it in here. I might look into it. Maybe we'll just call it a night here. Feet. Merge onto I 81 North. We still have six and a half hours. I get up off early. We'd still get there tomorrow afternoon. Uh, which would work. We got a pretty late start today. Uh, I'm not in that big of a hurry. I need to exhaust myself. Who knows? I'll probably eat. Maybe I'll take a quick little nap. Maybe we'll drive some this evening. But we could possibly wrap it up here to, uh, tonight. I don't know. Hello, everybody. Good morning. We pushed on yesterday uh, to within 30 miles of the West Virginia border. I think we have about 327 miles to go. About five and a half hours. And we have a detour. A little detour to make make a quick pit stop before we get back to the garage. And we got to stop down, down over the hill. There's a little Circle K. We're going to stop down there and fill up with gas and uh, get rolling. Just, uh, got Bella Dog uh, out taking care of things this morning before we hit the road. But yeah, we got a, you know, five and a half hours. That's constant. That's constant drive time. <laughs> okay. That's not making any stops. So in the RV, we kind of poke along. Like I say, we got to stop and get gas and some things. So five and a half, let's make a six and a half or seven hours is probably more realistic. Uh, and considering all the hills in West Virginia, that's going to be, you know, coaching. She's way over there. Uh, she's done really good this trip. But this The very last day of the trip is going to be where I ask the most of from her. So yeah, it's kind of knock on wood. Well, this is it, Miss Coachman. What do you say we get her done and you can have a, a nice long rest? Huh? Let's get you warmed up. Now the sun just peeked over the mountains. Starting to cast it out across here. See it out in the mountains a little bit. So, sun's up. <laughs> Let's get rolling. Well, good morning to you too, son. <laughs> wow. It is supposed to be a beautiful, beautiful day. All the whole entire trip, all the way up to Pennsylvania, no rain, all day. All right, we're on the move finally. Here we go, 77 North towards Charleston, West Virginia. We'll beat the state line in just under 30 miles. Exit 72, 77 North. Continue for 66 miles. All right. There's our first tunnel in Virginia. And there's a couple in West Virginia. Sometimes it's just easier to go under the mountain. <laughs> right? This is called the Big Walker, yeah, Big Walker Mountain Tunnel. There we are. Close your eyes, Russ. <laughs> I almost think of Russ when we get to tunnels. My buddy Russ, yeah, he don't like tunnels. Okay, another tunnel. 
this might be the one I'm thinking of. I think West Virginia is on the other side. I think it is. It is. What tunnel is this? Ah, uh, the East River Mountain Tunnel. Okay, let's see here. Maintenance, maintenance vehicles out here. Should be in West Virginia, but we get get out the other side. I'm thinking. I made this trip enough times; you'd think I'd know for sure. I need to dig my wallet out, get some cash. It's at 425 for cars. Don't know how much the coachman's gonna be. I got a coachman and a car. Get some find out. And this is the first of the couple of tolls. Come on, go easy on us. What's it gonna be? What's your guess? I'm gonna say seven dollars and change. I think maybe ten, twelve. How bad could it be? Uh, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Are you I am. How much? Six seventy five. That's not too bad. I think I can do that. Uh, oh. Alright, I lowered my thought. I was like, what are we doing? Thank you, have a good day. Alright, thank you now. Bella was wondering, what, if I didn't get a biscuit? She said, don't those places sometimes give out biscuits? <laughs> sometimes they do, yeah, sometimes they don't.
dummy me, we just passed the rest area. I forgot all about it. Had a dump station. Remember the flying J we're going to, it's a little bit out of the way. It's not terribly, but. Uh, <laughs> and I called ahead just to make sure that flying J, just to make sure of that. And they don't have the water turned on yet because up in this part of the country, you know, there is still chance of freezing. It is spring, we're getting nice weather, but you know, it's not out of the question for a little cold spell to still sneak in. Uh, it happens some years, not always. And so people don't generally turn the outside water on just yet. So I'm, but water's not the issue. I could get water at the house or, you know, water's a lot easier to get than dumping your tanks. And I just, as I missed the exit, I glanced down, I remembered the, oh yeah, we've been at that rest area numerous times, right? And then I noticed like on the way out, the, on the out ramp, there's that pull off. And I spotted like the spigot, you know, which I'm sure would have been off, but still the dump station part of it would be okay. Like I could have done it there and just been on my way and went straight to the garage. But no, I forgot. Dang it. And it's not worth going the whole way up here on these hills and mountains to the next exit and go back to the exit before it. It ain't worth that. Um, but there's one more chance we might have. The next rest area is 40 miles. I don't know if I've ever stopped at that one before. Um, hopefully, we are going to stop. We're due for another break. Uh, hour and 46 minutes yet. Uh, 100, 120 miles. Uh, and, uh, so I don't remember ever stopping at this other rest area. I'm hoping maybe we'll get lucky. It'll have a dump station. Because it's just shortly before where we would have to make the Y in the road where we'd have to go out of our way to the Flying J. Yeah, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and <laughs> that would be nice. Okay, what's it going to be? Come oh, on, boy, that would be so nice to, yeah, you know. this they might what's this is this a little pull off or dump station oh no I think like there used to be one oh wait maybe there still is I think there still is this will make my day yes 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 yep I doubt that the water's on it okay okay things are looking up <laughs> uh, the sun was, it's been peeking through off and on. Uh, looks like it's functioning. The gloves are on. Look at that. We're in business. And this does not need to be on. It'd be nice if it was. Oh, it is. Ho, ho, ho. We're in business. We are in business. I did not expect for that to be on. I'll be able to change the GPS directly for the we'll dump. I'll set the GPS directly for the garage. We'll get there sooner rather than later. All right, that was a huge deal for me. I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you, state of West Virginia. Um, how convenient. Uh, so I reset the GPS and we're 118 miles from the garage. Two hours and six minutes. I think I can handle that. We not sure if we quite have the gas to do that we might have to stop for gas but we, we might have enough i don't know but uh yeah that's it Just have to coach me a couple of times hang in there girl <laughs> all right let's go exit 148 interstate 68 east towards cumberland maryland 68 east for 10 miles yeah, at least for 10 miles Yeah, Interstate 79, if we would have stayed on that, would have taken us up to Pittsburgh. We're not going to Pittsburgh. So, uh, we're going to New Kensington, Pennsylvania, which is uh, a little bit northeast of Pittsburgh. So, we shoot east on 68 a little bit, and then uh, continue on north. Yep, we are getting there. We are down to 91 miles, an hour and 42 minutes. It is 12.13, just after lunch. So, yep, 
up. We'll get there a reasonable time today. Looks like a lot of them clouds are starting to clear up. Uh, the big thing is it hasn't rained in a number of days. So that's going to be important when we uh, put the coachman in the yard. The yard's not too soft. We're coming up on one of those places that just make you wonder how it got its name. There's a lake up here called Cheat Lake. Okay, Cheat. Cheat Lake. I think that's cheating. Uh, Cheat Lake. I wonder how it got its name. Just gotta wonder. Alright, we are about to get off our on this exit. We, we will be done with the interstates. There it is. Okay, there it is. Instead of just benching it, there. Show it to you. It's a pretty thick lake. Uh, side. a gallon at Valero. I hope that's not typical of the area. We're in uh, Connellsville, Pennsylvania. We're uh, 51 miles to go yet. One hour even. 379. Oh well. Oh well. We don't use the coachman a whole lot in the summertime anyway. Tend to use the van a little bit more. A little bit better on gas mileage. Yikes. Yes, we are almost there. We are so close. We're on uh, Pennsylvania's Route 66. Well, drop the dime. It's on a 369 here. Maybe as we get into our own uh, neighborhood, gas will be a little bit cheaper. I don't expect by much. It has gotten windy. It's gotten windy and which is a good thing because well we're up here where the air is drier than when we was down the south. So the air is drier, it's sunny, with the wind blowing, it helps dry, it's been helping to dry the yard out. And just this time of year when I get back it's always an issue, and a little bit tricky so I don't get the RV stuck. Now the ground is soft. But this is a favor, this is good timing. It's, there's been a stretch of nice days, sunny, clear, you know, uh, breezy. So the ground will be firmer than it usually is. It, it will be better rather than worse than it usually is. So I don't anticipate any problem getting the coachman in its parking spot and its uh, resting and its resting spot. Well, there's our local camping world. <laughs> Got uh, eight miles to go. Chugging along. Well, that's good. The little car is still with us. It's made it from Pennsylvania to Texas to Florida and back to Pennsylvania. We're just within a couple miles now. And I started smelling something really good. And I forgot, too, they put in a new Valley Dairy uh, restaurant. 
down here. That's where uh, King's restaurant used to be there. And it closed up for some reason. But Valley Dairy, there's only a few of them around and they're they're pretty yummy. They're pretty yummy. Be glad to get back and get this thing leveled and plugged in. And uh Val can take her nap. And, and as a matter of fact, been a long morning. And yesterday might make a big old late lunch. I think it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, we did okay today. And yeah, I think I might go make a nice lunch. I might take a little nap too. <laughs> and then get up and have some coffee and maybe mess with the van. Yeah, maybe I can wait till tomorrow. I don't know. All right, Bella girl, let's get home. Then turn right. Keep left to continue on Pennsylvania 356 North. Yep, we're on 356 North. We will be turning off here shortly. Oh, the Bonfire Restaurant. And they're busy as usual. Voted number one fish in the valley. I'm gonna celebrate being back and get me a nice big old fish sandwich. There they are, Bella. The, our neighbor cows. Huh? There's our cows. Well, not our cows, but it's the neighborhood cows. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. And her, in this one, she knows. Yeah, these, these are roads we travel often. And I think she definitely senses familiarity with the uh, area, the surroundings. She says, yeah, we could. Hey, I know this road. Explain her excitement, her heart, you know? Why else would she suddenly be doing that when we're, you know, a uh, hundred feet from the house? <laughs> there it is, there's my van. Just gonna pull here for a bit, and uh, I get I'll have to get the car unhooked and do some mess around. My buddy bought a boat. I forgot about that. He bought a boat. And he, the, the car is the second vehicle now. He has a some kind of SUV to tow the boat. Now, there's more toys around here. Where are we at? Where Where are we? <laughs> huh? She says, let me outside. Let me out. I need to run in the yard. Just a minute. The chair fell. Bad stuff happened. Okay. Go, go, go. Oops. Slam the door. There it is. There it is, the yard. Oh, where's the bad deers? Where's the bad deers and rabbits? I don't see any right now. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be out. We made it. We made it. All right, we're gonna start getting settled in. And my van. <laughs> All right. And the neighbor down there is mowing. Yeah, I'm sure my tractor's. Uh, yeah, time to get time to get back to it here. Yeah, this looks pretty solid. I'm good at yeah, I'm cracking and stuff. A uh, little little soft spot over there. I think we'll be all right though. We'll get her in here okay. Good, good, good. All right, we'll start the next video with probably getting some of this stuff going. This is a good place to cut it off at. We're here, gonna get settled in and uh, and uh, take a nap. <laughs> uh, we'll resume this stuff later, all right? Thanks for uh, traveling with us and uh, we'll be back soon from Pennsylvania.